police has yet landed on yet another list of suspected ghost pensioners used by the Ministry of Public Service officials to pay ghost pensioners. The list has a total of 1,000. 160 beneficiaries who are believed to have benefited from a whooping 104 billion shillings of the taxpayers' money. The above amount was paid through the, the, the accounts of the suspected ghost pensioners. Police suspects officials from the Ministry of Public Service to have connived with the staff of Kyle Bank International while the beneficiaries opened up accounts. Sometimes the telephone numbers are not matching with the names on the account opening forms. So we therefore suspect that this could be pictures of innocent persons which were irregularly fixed on the account opening forms in connivance with the bank officials. Efforts to trace the beneficiaries have so far been rendered futile as fictitious telephone numbers were used while opening up the accounts. As investigations continue, all those listed will have to appear to the Criminal Investigations Department for questioning. We are inviting those individuals to CID headquarters to enable detectives, interview them, to ascertain whether they received the actual funds or not. This now brings to a total of 167 billion shillings lost to ghost pensioners in the last financial year. Three senior officials from the Ministry of Public Service, Kiwanuka Kunsa, Christopher Obey and Francis Lubega, were arrested, remanded and later released on bail over 63 billion laws to ghost pensioners and are battling it out in court. Stella Nawakosa, WBS-TV.